Hey, what do you say, Weekend Warriors? I spent $179 on a pre-cooked brisket. I'm gonna tell you why in a little bit. Let me get this out of the box. And I ordered this from Gold Belly, uh, not sponsored whatsoever. I ordered it on a Friday. I think I got it on a Wednesday, so it just took a couple days to ship. And it shipped from Austin, Texas. So it comes in the box. If you've ever ordered any kind of uh, frozen meats online, they usually ship it in a styrofoam cooler. Uh, this company shipped it with some butcher paper. A little bit of info about Gold Belly. Kind of a cool company and concept. We're gonna talk a little bit about that in a minute. And then, the brisket. This brisket is from Terry Black's Barbecue in Austin, Texas. They also have a location in Dallas, Texas. Great, great barbecue company, great reputation. They happen to sell whole briskets, which is what I wanted for this video, uh, through Gold Belly. And I'm just gonna weigh it here real quick so we can see what we get for $179. And it's a seven pound, one and a half ounces, so good size brisket. It comes with uh, some cooking instructions. So just in a nutshell, uh, preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna wrap this tightly in foil. Uh, and before we do that, we're gonna pour one stick of melted unsalted butter over top, which we'll show in a minute. And it'll take about two to two and a half hours to cook. Then we'll let it rest for a half hour. Now, why did I go out and spend all this money when I can cook one for way less here at home? I've got this awesome stick burner. I've got pellet smokers, I've got drum smokers. I've got a lot of brisket videos I've already done. And believe it or not, I've never done a Texas style brisket. So there's a YouTube channel and I'll put a link below. It's really good, it's called Qtorials. The guy who makes the videos, his name is Jimmy Daniel. And he has this one video where he gave some good advice. Basically he's saying, if you wanna cook a really good Central Texas style brisket, you have to know how one tastes. So if you haven't tasted one, go to Austin, he recommended five places, one of which was uh, Terry Black's Barbecue. That's why I bought this brisket. And so I'm gonna be able to take this out of the package. I'm gonna see how they trimmed it. I'm gonna cook it exactly how they said. And so while I may not be able to go to Austin and experience that whole scene, I'll be able to at least experience the taste. What does some authentic Central Texas brisket taste like? That'll help on my next cook. It's like everything else in life, there's no substitute for experience. You can read all you want about how to play football, but until you get on the field, you're not really gonna learn. It's the same thing with barbecue. I read books and I watched videos on how to run an offset smoker. And sure, all that knowledge is great, but you really don't learn until you do it. So you gotta have that hands on. And I would really like to do uh, a couple episodes on this. Maybe one day I do Central Texas, maybe one day I do some Kansas City barbecue. Uh, and we're talking, we could do turkey, chicken, brisket, ribs, and then that will inspire my next cook. So when you see me cook the brisket a week later, you'll know that's kind of where the inspiration came from. So depending on how well this video does, you know, it's gonna depend on views. I might do this as a regular thing. So if you like this kind of content, this idea, give it a thumbs up, share it, that's the best way to get a ton of views. So let's cut open uh, this brisket, get it prepared and get it in the oven. And here's what we got. So we're gonna cut open the cryovac. Let's get this beauty out of here. So the first thing I'll notice here is uh, you'll see tons of fat. It's pretty cold outside. Um, probably about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The instructions say to go, you know, bark side up, which will be this side. Here's the bottom, lots of fat. And it's, it almost feels frozen, but it's not. If you've ever refrigerated a brisket after you've cooked one, you know how firm it gets because the fat uh, gets hard. So we're gonna get it over here on the foil. And then the instructions say to pour one stick of melted butter over top. So this is not coffee, this is actually butter. Cold weather cooking tip, get yourself a little Yeti and you can do stuff like this without the butter hardening up. 
So I'm going to use my hand to rub that in. And I'm using unsalted butter. That's a tip from the mad scientist. Barbecue had a good point when he tried Aaron Franklin's. You know, using salted butter, you're adding extra seasoning. You're not gonna taste it the way Terry Black's barbecue intended. And that's the other thing. I could have wrapped this in butcher paper, but I'm not. I'm doing it exactly how they said to do it so I can experience it the way they wanted me to. And now we're gonna tightly wrap this up in foil. I'm going to do a second layer, as they said. All right, and in the oven it goes. Uh, the instruction said two to two and a half hours. Bring it up to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That I'm not going to do. I'm going to bring it up maybe to 145, 150. Um, but you do what you want if you buy it. Then we're going to let this rest for 30 minutes. Then we're going to slice into it and taste it. I'll give my thoughts. This is not a review of this. Uh, food reviews are really tough. Taste is subjective. I might taste something that you don't. So it's not a review, just an opinion, okay? So we'll be back to slice it up, see how it tastes, I can't wait. Woohoo! here we go. So two and a half hours in the oven, 30 minutes to rest on the countertop. I'm gonna open this up. Now it is about 30 degrees outside here. This is just where I film in the backyard, so this is not what I would normally do. Let's get this open and take a look. And right away, as that steam is coming out, it's got a real nice smoke smell to it. It smells very similar to when I do it on a pellet smoker, actually. I'm gonna get this off of the baking sheet. We're gonna pick it up. And my God, is that thing soft. Now, I've cooked a lot of briskets. Mine has never been that soft, ever. So that's something I gotta work on for sure. But look at how beautiful that is. The color is, is perfect. The smell is really good. The bark, even with the foil on there, is holding. So let me cut some pieces here from the lean side. I come in just how I normally would. I'd be careful. Uh, serrated knife is what I'm using. And I'm just gonna carefully slice so I don't destroy that bark. It's a little soft from the foil. Um, I can tell from cutting it too. This cuts a lot better than my briskets. So kudos to them on all of those. This thing is juicy as can be. Give you a nice look there. So having that fat cap on top is really important. Uh, it's basting this, so that's where all that juice is coming from. Get you another close-up shot. Man, that's gorgeous. So back to what I was saying about why I spent all this money and how I said there's no substitute for experience. That's what you're paying for here, is the experience. Getting to see a perfectly cooked brisket, getting to taste it. I think we'll do one more like this. And now we'll get on to the point. So now we'll go this way. So we did the lean side, and now this is the fatty side. Let me just pull one of these guys out of here. Look at that. Very, very juicy. God, this is perfect. This little burn end. Let me try that. All right, so this is where I get to tell you what I taste, when I taste it. The smell is really good. Good, good smoke flavor. It's not overpowering. Uh, very tender. Take a bite. <laughs> Texture-wise, it is so soft. It is really good. 
you have a little bit of the crispy bark, but the meat is soft and I'm tasting the meat first actually. Then I'm getting the salt and pepper. I can't really taste if there's anything other than salt and pepper, but that doesn't really matter. That's all this thing needs. I'm gonna get another bite. Mm. All right, so here's a piece of what most people call the lean. The drier side, there's, I've never had a brisket this juicy. Not on the lean side, I haven't, so. Let me get a bite of that. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'll tell you what, that was worth every penny. Flavor, texture, smell. Uh, they did all the hard work. You know, that's kind of why you're paying so much. So hey, Terry Black's Barbecue, congratulations. Man, awesome, awesome brisket. I love that you can do this stuff now through Gold Belly. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. For me to get to Austin, Texas to try a brisket, you know, uh, this makes it really simple. And it's good inspiration for me. So hey, if you guys like this content, remember, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And definitely check out one of those two videos right there. And I'll see you over there. Best brisket I think I've ever had, period. That is unreal.